I'm a tuck buck chun. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rick. It's a Corbin. I'm Rick. Mm-hmm. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter from all juicy content. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that like button. Um, it helps with the algorithm. Yeah. Uh, today, and it, this dropped, I think, last night around 4 a.m. our time or something like that. Um, and so we were asleep. We were snoozing. Uh, I wish they would drop it like morning time for India like 9 10 p.m our time i think that would be way better i don't know why they drop it so late but yeah they clearly know better than i do uh but this is obviously i'm gonna talk about John's new film this is the actual trailer for his upcoming film that we just saw the teaser for where i'm assuming he's like uh i think people said he's this coach of underprivileged kids mm. and it's directed by the same people that directed uh satya uh, no no not satya satya uh, Sat- yeah, no. Cyrat <laughs> S- and um, what's the other one? The other Marathi film uh, that that they. I did. just remember Cyrat. It's Cyrat, and anyway, it's another one that we that is a really good film, and so it's that director. Uh, and so when we found that out, we were very very excited about this. On top of it, just being Amitabh Bachchan, uh, so that's exciting. So, all right, you ready? Yes, yes. Three, two. One. Look, Burade, sir. मुझे लगता है कि इस गंदगी को आप इस कॉलेज के अंपस में ना लाएं तो बेहतर। मुझे चिकना देख रहे हैं। चल, 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 चल। गंदा नहीं तो मेरे को कौन? कॉलर छोड़ो, पिच्चा नहीं छोड़ रहा, क्या करेगा? I've been spending some time with these kids. And I can see them change. Vijay, yes. Is sab kar ke ap kya sabit karna chahte ho? Pote kuda, bache dikha nahi de rahe. Tumko bhi amal chahiye kya? Ganja. ठीक से बोलना भी सीख ले तो आप जो बोलेंगे वो करने के लिए तैयार है अंकल खेड़ा समझ रहा क्या पैसा आप देने के लिए है नहीं मेरे पास। शक्कर के डब्बे में देख ले। लेना लो आप जो कह रहे हैं मैं जानता हूँ लेकिन ये लड़के अच्छे हैं। बेटा अगर हट गए ना मेरे तो महंगा पड़ेगा देखो क्या महंगा पड़ेगा ये सब बंद करो ये आपसे नहीं होगा पूरा कॉलेज का झोपड़पट्टी बना दिया है इसको बोलो ये फुटबॉल बहुत अच्छा खेलते हैं। ये पूरे बच्चे झपट पट्टी के जी सर ये लोग फुटबॉल का नाम बदनाम कर रहे हैं मैं सुधरना चाहता तो सुधरने क्यों नहीं दे रहे लोग को ये बच्चे एक पत्थर मार कर सुअर को मार गिराते हैं इनके हाथों में पत्थर की जगह अगर एक गेंद थमा दी जाएगी तो ये विश्व के सबसे तेज गेंदबाज बन सकते हैं आप कहते हैं कि ये झुंड है मैं कहता हूँ कि ये हमारी नेशनल फुटबॉल टीम है ओ सर ये देखो ये क्या बोल रहा भारत मतलब <laughs> Looks, looks good. It was a understated um, trailer. I would have actually, because um, I, I felt like they were kind of going for two different things here. Um, really? Yeah. Well, like, 
I was actually more interested when it was more like a subdued kind of thing. And I thought at, at times they were trying to make it this big commercial film when, 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 uh, not all the time. I think sometimes it did, but a three minute trailer is way too long. I always think three minute trailers are, are, are too long trailers. You're just giving too much away, uh, of, of the thing. But, um, I, I, I was actually a lot more interested when it was, when it was like talking about like, the um, kind of it was going to be kind of a, a low key not like a commercial vibe mm. uh and then i felt sometimes they were trying to make it like a commercial vibe and i'm like i I just don't feel like that's what this film is i don't know what you huh. think what what spots did you think there i i felt it was for the most part pretty low key and grounded did, what, did no, you so, think that's like the so did i highlight? but i yeah I, I don't know maybe the song behind uh like the big song behind it all and all that mm kind of stuff and I, I i agree i think most of the time it was kind of subdued but then at times i was like i don't i'm hoping you just don't try to just because it's amitag bakchan and you want to get a um a song out of this or or you want to get a a big commercial feel out of this for for the masses because i feel like this film maybe it is maybe that's exactly what it is um it, it should be a very subdued low-key style of film about relations between these um, I don't, I don't even know what you'd call them. We'd call them inner city kids here. Right, right. Um, that, uh, just kids that come from, uh, lesser, usually financial families, um, and just don't have as many opportunities as everyone else. So they, uh, resort to, um, either criminal stuff or drugs or whatever. And then obviously they get a good influence and somebody who actually believes in them, it doesn't just shove them off as a, as a, a slum kid. So yeah, I'm, I'm assuming you'll get a lot of that. And I think like, I, I just don't want it to be them to try to make it a big commercial film. Cause I think this would be a lot better as a, an intimate film. Yeah. I don't know that they did. I mean, who knows? We'd have to ask them, but the feeling I got was that that high level energy music was to convey the, the two aspects of the high level energy of the actual football playing and also the high level energy of this age group of kids and the violence and the danger and, and I, I can see what you're saying in terms of not wanting it to go there. I didn't feel that. I liked the trailer. Mm, I thought yeah. it was pretty congruent. Um, it, obviously, it's a, it's a Hindi film. It wouldn't surprise me if it had a single musical number, even just like as a montage, for example, not an yeah. item number per se. Uh, but yeah, I, I it didn't. Get, I wasn't concerned about that. I, I feel okay. like this is. I feel like this is going to be a pretty serious, grounded, and probably emotional. I mean, that moment right there where Big B was saying this is the national team. I could see the depth of emotion that his character's feeling in that moment. Oh yeah, it's Big B. You know he's gonna it's bring Big B. He's gonna yeah, bring and it. The kid, and I, I thought they the all looked really, really good. Believable. Yeah, the kids look really yeah. believable. I thought they all looked really good, really believable. I think it's gonna be one of those films that's probably gonna fill a bunch of people with national pride, but also bring out a lot of emotion because of how certain people and this is not just an Indian thing, this is an everywhere thing treat people who they consider less than who don't yeah. come ha, don't have a nice house don't have um their parents don't have a nice job they don't go to a good school like a bunch of idiotic stuff like that so they think they're like less than people because of where they live or their income which is just still mind-boggling to me um but i'm sure we'll get a lot of that in terms of just you're gonna get you're gonna be mad at a lot of people you're gonna be feeling bad uh like you'll you'll feel a lot of emotion because of the way people are treated and the, the opportunities they don't get and i'm sure big b's just gonna bring just gonna absolutely bring it as yeah. he always does yeah i mean obviously like most people who know who he is you're gonna be drawn to this just because i'm a top box on starring in it but i think the the trailer it met the expectations i had i felt like the kids were very believable i felt like they're gonna be very dangerous um, and believably dangerous. Maybe at some points even do some things where we're going to find them reprehensible ourselves and even yeah. wonder why Big B is trying to keep his hands wrapped around them. You know, I bet they do stuff to him that you'll yeah. be like, wow. So yeah, I'm inter I'm really interested. I thought uh, that was the, trailer. the director is also the director of Fandry as well. That's oh, that's right. Other, that's the other one I was that trying was, that to was the other uh, one. remember. Um, yeah. He, I, I mean, Amitabh Bakshan's always done a bunch of stuff, but it seems like as he's gotten even older he's gotten a, like he's very selective in what he likes to at least star in 
like he, like Loki, even the, even the films that we didn't understand very much, like Galabo Sotabo, it's not just because it was like badly made or anything like that. It's just we were bored and we didn't understand. I think a lot of the jokes were in Hindi and it's mm-hmm. just it wasn't really made for an American audience. But like, you know, Badla, uh, we never saw Thugs of Hiroshima or anything like that. Um, and I know he was in that one, but uh, <laughs> um, but uh, and then Pink and and all mm-hmm. this kind of stuff. He's, I, you know, I just, as he gets older, I wonder if, uh, how he's going to, be- gone about like, cause I'm sure back in the day he did like, we, we heard stories filming Duar in the morning and then uh, something else yeah. in the evening time. I'm sure as you get older, you're like, I don't, I don't want to do that anymore. My mm-hmm. energy level is not I can't do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I bet he wants to like focus on, and it's not like he needs to do 10 films a year. No, oh, he clearly is doing this because it's what he loves doing. He's, <laughs> it reminds me of exactly probably the same kinds of choices and process that would make Sir Anthony Hopkins decide to do a film. Uh-huh. It, it's doesn't need to do it. Doesn't need the money. Doesn't need anything. Only doing it because you love the art form. You love making movies, and you want to tell stories that you think are important and play characters that matter to you. And that's one of the the beautiful luxuries of being someone who's at that stature in in your career is that every decision you make and the people that surround you it can be made just because this is what you want to do, and everyone else is going to say yes, sir, or whatever you say, sir. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think I think the trailer uh, it gives me a lot of hope as long as they don't um, kind of go for just the commercial element mm-hmm. of it all and kind of go a lot deeper. And I and I, I think they will. The, the majority, I'd say three fourths of the trailer, I, I, I really enjoyed. Um, I just wish people would stop making three minute trailers. I'm with you. I think two minutes is perfectly fine. Two minutes thirty is the max you'd ever. Yeah, need I was to gonna go. say. That's what I was going Two minutes to 2.30 max, because I agree with you. You start to give a little too much away. You start to yeah. show your hand a little too much. Just like in films, you don't want it to go on too long. You want to be like, here's a little taste, and then you want more. I don't want to yeah. be in a trailer. I'm like, oh, this trailer's still going on. <laughs> I remember I remember the only trailer I ever saw, granted, no internet, no nothing. The only place you saw a movie trailer was at the movies. The only trailer I saw for Star Wars was sitting in the theater, and all it did was say, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, dum, da-da-da-dum, da-da-da-dum, da-da-dum, da-da-dum, Star Wars faded, and then it said coming. And I was like, what the heck is that going to be? That is all I knew going in. And then my mom saw the movie before me to make sure it was palatable for me because I was like seven years old when it came out. And all she was telling me was, you're going to love this. There's some characters in this you're going to love. First time I'm standing in line outside when blockbuster terminology was, you know, this is a blockbuster because the line was around the block. But again, all that trailer was, was like a 30 second spot of just the words Star Wars. And uh, I know you can't do that with all all films, but I I agree with you. I think a three minute trailer shows too much. I'd say just keep it. Keep it yeah, keep short it. and tight and and yeah, and short engaging. And sweet. Well, make us want anymore. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, but I like yeah. the trailer. I did. Like Let us trailer. know what you thought about the uh, the trailer down. And it comes out on March fourth. That's like what next week. Next week. We're getting we're getting films again, guys. We're getting films again because we're about to go to the theater at the end of this week to see a certain film. We're going to the theater hopefully week after week after week again. That would make my heart very happy. Let us know what you thought about the trailer down below.